right, welcome back, son. This is the book that Gary gave me. It's about magnetism and electricity. The title is Electricity and Magnetism by National Geographic Society. Now, I already glued a bunch of pages together because... I know, and you inked it out and put paper on it. Yeah, because I found a lot of things that were not useful. The it's, yeah. Yes. Like when they say electricity can kill you. Man, I already know that. So, yeah, I don't need to. A sensor. Electric circuits and all that stuff. Man, this is boring to read. I'm not going to read this out loud. Yeah. I'd rather do it, you know? Do it. On the picture, someone's got a stones. No, not Our yet. Roommate. Yeah, the roommates are cooking. Wow, this book has interesting things, but. Well, that video. <laughs> like, here we're gonna read a book today. Uh, I'm paging nah, through it. Book boring. Um, Max, do something. Oh, there we go. I got to the periodic table of elements, and we're at number 103 now. What do you mean now? We have to have one. We can't start with No, because, uh, no, not the page 103. We have 103 elements. Yeah. That is the end, or at least that's the part of the end. But there used to be less <laughs> when I was little. Now they're over 100. Oh, they've been finding... Yeah, what's cool about that is that they predicted many of them. But it has to exist. Mm -hmm. cool. find it. All right, do you know... Some of them are man-made. Uh, it's hardly ever happened. Yeah, man-made uh, elements. elements. What is an element, son? It's like hydrogen, helium, helium. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. Nitrogen, okay. oxygen, chloride. Yes. My favorite part is the gold, silver, and platinum part. Mm -hmm. I like how they're all right next to each other. Like if you wait long enough, gold will like decay into silver. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. That's what it, it all. Everything eventually is going to decay back into hydrogen. Because all an atom, the atom periodic it's amazing how like you know, adding a little bit more energy here or there makes it water and makes it metal. Makes it yeah. gas mm -hmm. makes it, yeah. it changes all of the properties. But basically what it is is just the uh, you know one one high you know, one proton, one electron. Mm -hmm. Two, three, five. I would say that would be it, the God thing, but it's only uh, the matter that we are made up of and that we see is only like 5% of the material in, in the universe, and the rest is like energy, dark energy, dark matter. Mm -hmm. So what we're made up of is like a very small part of one twentieth. What if we put all of the elements well, how, silver and gold, what would happen? You're a star. Huh? You're a star. Second, third generation star. Because, like, the way uh, those elements get from being just hydrogen to things like gold and iron, I think it's top is uh, there's a supernova, which is like a star, which is made up of just hydrogen and helium, and then it, it, it implodes which is like an explosion but it's inward to like a one point so every all the hydrogen and all they get smashed together to build like um helium lithium all the way up to iron i think it's an iron which is like 50 some 50th element so it makes all oxygen carbon everything we're made of amazing 
and then it blows up, and, it, and then millions of years, the, the dust and stuff turns to rocks and planets. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then on the planet, you have things like gold and all that. I forget how, like, it's amazing. So if you took all the elements and you put them back together, yeah, yeah, all that, all that, uh, all the things. There was a strange video I saw about the Snow White. How does it begin? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Is that what the Queen says? I suppose. Yeah, I think so. Because for some reason, everything is being changed. Uh, that one is being changed to uh, something else, like pretty mirror on the wall. Well, where about the science YouTube <laughs> Well, yes, but this is all connected. Now, in the Bible, uh, there was another one that said, fishers of men. Or... Now the Bible it says fishers of people, which takes it takes away the the strength of the words that were used. It's like it makes the story forgettable instead of unforgettable. Okay. Yeah, they don't they don't change the classic really. Like can you believe they took the N word? <laughs> they took the N word out of Mark Twain. Believe it. Negro? Yeah. And yet, Malcolm X uses it, or used it. Well, I'll probably take it away from him too. No, that's offensive. In the movie Star Wars. Is, of course, but in history, in context, it shouldn't be offensive. Well, well this guy wrote this, shows you how it was, you know. Mm -hmm. He wrote it 150, 200 years ago. Hmm. In the movie Star Wars, Darth Vader is fighting against Luke Skywalker, and he says, Luke, I am your father. And now, it's, it's been changed to something else, like, I am your father, but it's like a, a run-on sentence. It, it has no emotional moment or shock. Wait, they, they took that part out of the movie? They changed it. it it's the way the actor said it. I, Luke. First it's, it's yeah, the word yeah, Luke. Isn't that still the, it's the movie though? They haven't gone back to the movie. The original movie still has it like that, right? No, there was another, the, the lady in the video, she mentioned how even the titles of movies are being changed. Uh, some, one other item was, I think she called it the Mandala Effect. But there was a, in Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump, the movie said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know if you're going to get it. No, now it's changed to life was like a box of chocolates. I mean, they're just changing words. Okay. I mean, I've seen Boris Trump recently. I'm pretty sure it's still the original one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, didn't do I, don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not going to argue with that. Well, uh, you can see her video and, and see exactly, and then double check it because I may be using different words. But the point is that books are being changed, uh, or movies. Yeah. Movies are being changed. All right. Now, this book was given to me by my mom when I was a tiny boy. It's in Spanish. Los Músicos de Brema. It's one story and it's 254 pages long, if I'm correct. Not. 
this is much greater Spanish than than my vocabulary. But oh no, there are several. One, two. Los músicos de Brema, that would be one. Los dos hermanitos, that's two. Yorinda y Yoringel, that's three. El Conde Arnao, that's four. El Nomito, five. El Cohete Presumido, six. El Anillo Prodigioso, seven stories. All right, we could read one. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. We don't have to read one. Uh, we don't have to read one. I'm actually hot. Son, did you move the air conditioner up? Did you move the air? You did, huh? You did? My son, if you do that and I get dressed, I start sweating. Why? It's only one degree higher. What happened, man? It used to be good with the, uh, with the, the winter is too cold. It's too hot for you. Yeah, the summers are too hot. That's why I go to the park in the evenings instead of in the middle of the day. You ready to read now? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so what do we do, man, with our life? What do we do? Mm? Mm? No, man, this summer we got to do something. You said YMCA? Yeah, we haven't gone swimming at all this summer. Let's not waste the summer. We already have Let's start a procession of cars to the YMCA. If you uh, want to go in like 30 minutes, I'm good. Is that good? Well, I got that job with reading with the kids. I quit. And I hey, won't so quit. What about their, their right, well, Can we bring them? Yeah. Can we bring them? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, let's see. Two and three. Yeah, so we're only good the other well, I was thinking that we could give them swimming classes. They, they at the YMCA, they cost what? five dollars. We don't need. We just teach them ourselves. Yeah. Right, but this way I get them to get off the computers. Be a meteor. Be a star. Later on, these kids will say, man, I learned to swim because of that old guy that wouldn't leave me alone to play video games. And that tall guy that was the chauffeur. <laughs> All right, so summer vacation, swimming. At the YMCA. You could, you could do that, you know, next summer. Reading, <laughs> library books. Yeah, man, you need us. Man, we're gonna be stuck, man. Without you. All right, swimming at the YMCA, reading library books. What about working out, playing soccer? Sure. Playing soccer, we already do. But have you noticed that if we have a small group, we play for a short while? Yeah. And if we have a large group, we play for a longer while? Yeah. All right. Working out. God bless you and those that surround you.